Hey guys, it's working. I'm gonna bang this thing in manual mode one through six so you can watch the yoke spin up faster and slow it down. I can also show how reverse works in neutral, show that it's working. Ran into a little software issue where I didn't realize I wasn't turning on a specific solenoid in manual mode because when it's in auto mode and driving, uh, there's a specific solenoid that turns on which actually releases a clutch set. Uh, which really, I think it releases low in reverse or something like that. So in second and third gear, it was locking up the, the transmission. So now that I bypassed that specific mode because I don't have a drive shaft in it yet, now when you manually shift into second and third, uh, it turns on that solenoid at the appropriate time. So now I have one through six, where 30 minutes ago I didn't. I had one, four, five, and six. So do a quick little show of what this looks like with the... Uh, with the engine running, a little bit of what the software looks like to, to make it go through the manual mode and um, show the yoke spinning forward and reverse. So, here we go. guys let me show you real quick the transmission cooler lines this is my what is a stupid thing parking brake cables in the way but there you can see bracket i made uh it's just two started off three quarter inch rod that i shortened down and then drilled a hole through it and then hit it with a quarter inch tap npt tap and then um I had to mill it just a little bit to get it down to like that 19 millimeter minus a couple thousandths. So it's like 0 0.745, 0 0.744 uh, is the ID of this hole here on both sides, top and bottom. So this is just showing that the 3 eighths, uh, or sorry, the quarter inch MPT threads in. So take that out and you can see the, the two, uh, you can see the two fittings I had to fabricate and then I bent up this piece of sheet metal uh, didn't quite come out the way I wanted but it's currently working since so all it has to do is hold those plugs in I don't think the pressure is going to be high enough to push the plugs out past the sheet metal anyway so and at the same time you can see my nifty little bracket I made for my shifter cable uh, it's just a piece of sheet metal where is it oh I'm in my own jacket There we go. Piece of sheet metal, oil pan bolts. 
There we go. Sheet metal oil pan bolts with a washer welded to it. Just enough thread, and we'll screw it up. But it comes forward, and then I had to custom. I think these are 1032s. Oh, I need to snug that down. Uh, 1032s. I just welded a bunch of nuts together to create a collar, I guess, and then welded that to the end of a bolt that I drilled the threads out of it so it will slide on the shaft. And then I threaded the little nipple on the end of the the shifter lever there and threw a quarter, I guess a quarter 20 nut on top of that. And it snugs up to the shoulder so you can tighten that just enough so it doesn't fall off. And then this has enough rotation and play that it rotates back and forth. So, yay!